Washington, the House of Representatives is poised this week to pass President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief plan with $1,400 checks, billions for vaccines, and money to reopen schools. The Senate passed the bill over the week weekend after a marathon session. Once the House has passed the legislation, it will go to Biden for his signature, and then stimulus checks will start to go out in a matter of weeks. Here's where the stimulus bill stands ahead of its likely passage this week. The House is expected to pass the bill this week and as early as Tuesday evening. The House Rules Committee must first set the parameters for debate, and then the House must vote to approve the rules of debate. Once the House approves the rules for debate, lawmakers will first debate the bill and then vote on final passage, which could happen late in the night Tuesday. Biden said Monday that he would sign the legislation as soon as I get it. The House very likely will pass the bill. House Democratic leadership has voiced confidence in their ability to pass it even if no Republicans vote for it. We'll pass it, and it'll get signed into law by the 14th, Rep. Pete Aguilar, D. Califf, a member of House Democratic leadership, told reporters Monday. Democrats are aiming for that March 14th date because that's when a federal boost to unemployment benefits expires for millions of Americans. Democrats hold a slim majority in the House and can't lose more than four Democrats on the final vote, assuming all Republicans vote against it. Although some progressives have voiced complaints about changes made by the Senate, Progressive Caucus Chair Rep. Pramila J. Apple, D. Wash, told reporters Monday that the package hits all of our progressive priorities and that the Senate's changes to the bill were relatively minor in the grand scheme of things. Some progressives were concerned too many concessions had been made to moderate Democrats in the Senate, such as tightening the threshold for stimulus checks and lowering the weekly unemployment benefit to $300 a week. Representative Bonnie Watson Coleman, D.N. J. told USA Today she was considering making a statement once the bill came up for a House vote and voting against it because of all of the progressive priorities that had been paired from the bill, such as an increase in the minimum wage. We spent a lot of time listening to the Senate nickel and dime what was going into the bill, she said. As progressives, she said, we're going to have to figure out where the line in the sand is. The House first passed the bill at the end of February. The Senate took it up the next week, and it made changes to the bill's provisions. A key Senate official, the parliamentarian, ruled that a provision increasing the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour could not stay in the final legislation, for example.